Good morning my brothers and sisters and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to skip the usual introduction because I'm at Box Hill. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm still waiting for my baby to come back and I'm the, well, the, uh, oh goodness, the hire bike. It's okay, but it's not like my baby. So I am really missing my baby. It's currently being prepared and I should get her back between the 28th of September to the 28th of October. They've said we're leaning more towards the 28th of October. I want to go back before my birthday. So fingers crossed they get her back to me before my birthday at least. So they're doing a, they're keeping me updated and uh, they're, doing a, they're doing a good job, I will say that. Yeah, I'm doing a good job. So I'm at Box Hill, as you can see. I'm going to do the Box Hill hike. So the Box Hill hike takes roughly around about four to six hours. Me, I'll probably take all day because, well, you know what I'm like. I take a shitload of pictures and I tend to just stop, sit down and just look at everything. It is really foggy here today. There's Cherry. <laughs> it is really foggy. Psychos. That road down there is really windy, so if you're looking for a really nice windy road and you want a good scenery, this is the place. So I highly recommend coming up here on a motorbike. They love motor they love motorcyclists because they've got a nice cast and a really nice ice cream parlour. That ice cream is lovely. The map. Um, this is obviously the National Trust. Uh, it's £6 to park all day if you fancy coming up here all day. That's relatively reasonable. If you're a National Trust member, it's completely free. I'm a National Trust member, so I highly recommend getting a National Trust. It's about £6.80 per month. So as you can see, I'm here. Where am I pointing? And I'll be following this lovely trail. And I'm gonna go up. This is a really nice view. So obviously when you come down this road, it's really windy. Uh, See this viewpoint and follow up here to the church. You know I like churches. I love an old church. I'll be following this all the way around. Then swings around all the way. I'll be seeing the pyramids into Headley Heath. Then Bridges Oak. I might cut across here just to see the pond. I might. It depends how knackered I am and if my knees are okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna swing back and come down here. And I'll be all the way down here to Box Hill and we'll swing back round to the viewpoint now I'm gonna take another trail I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom and there's a castle and there's a castle just off it's completely in ruins but that's what I love about it and I'll be I might if I'm not completely knackered out with four hours of walking <laughs> if I'm not completely tired out I will pop into the castle if not I'll do it another time guys but I really wanted to do the step the step zones are here and unfortunately they're currently they're currently uh, refurbishing the area obviously probably getting prepared for the, the lovely autumn that's coming in it's gonna be stunning up here in the autumn but that was the route I did want to do last time I was here I did the route all the way down to here I walked all the way across realized I could not get back and I had to walk all the way back, all the way back up the hill, killed myself doing it, and I thought, sorry, I'm treating myself to an ice cream. <laughs> so the, I've kept this video not long enough. I'm just about to get started. I have got a yoga mat slash towel sort of thing. It's travel size, so I've got it in my back, so I might stop and do some yoga on my way. So this is the start. Of you see the road. This is the main road. National Trust, they've got nice toilets, nice cafe. Ice cream, if I haven't said that. So I'll be starting from here, following the map. I've got the map on my phone just in case I do like to wander off. It's going to be lovely, sunny. This, the rain's not going to come in till this afternoon. Well, it's not predicted to come up here till this afternoon, late into the evening or even tomorrow. But look at this. Just look at that. I think I can hear a wren. No, that's not a wren. Now, wren birds, they're tiny, they're stupidly tiny. They're like chihuahuas, they're loud. <laughs> and they're loud as anything. So, I'm going to keep you updated. I've done this video long enough, so I'm not going to do too much. But I'm going to have little videos here and there and snippets in involved in this just to keep you guys updated. Probably uh, have a good giggle at me going. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> enjoy uh, this footage and uh, see you in a minute. Hey guys, look at this view. It's lovely. Let's crack on. Really? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language. That was hard. Uh, look. Uh, I'm not going back there and show you the 45 degree job. Uh, good news is, my lungs are definitely repaired from all that pneumonia I had a couple of years ago. So those scars should be gone. <laughs> Since my doctor's watching. I'm doing okay. <gasps>
<laughs> Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back. I've well done it. <laughs> Made it back to Box Hill National Trust Centre. There's the uh, survey post. Oh my god, I did this walk in four hours and 40 minutes. Four hours and 40 minutes? Fucked. <laughs> my knees are shot. But I did it. I did it! <laughs> Oh, it was good. The breeze up here is wonderful. And I'm gonna go treat myself to my favorite country pub. So you'll probably see videos of that in a minute. <laughs> but, oh my good goodness, the spots, the 13 hills. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's men absolutely mental. But at the same time, fantastic views, fantastic scenes just absolutely stunning just I mean you last time I posted of this obviously Lilith Hills just di directly ahead but down below is Dorking so, it's amazing so walking that length in four hours and 40 minutes I, I thought I'd take six to be honest with you it takes roughly four to six hours but I honestly thought I'd take six and I got <laughs> there were two girls jogging it and they start at the same time as me and they did it twice they jogged around to this thing twice they passed me just just down the bottom just beyond those trees a bit they passed me down and rested my, my knees i'll put them up and they went by hello I'm like, again <laughs> did you like pass me <laughs> they did it twice and they did not look knackered at all and here's me looking like i've been through the mill <laughs> But honestly, kudos to them. Amazing. That's that's inspirational to me. So my hat's off to the two blonde girls doing box hill hill hike twice and jogging it. You're just you're super women. You are Wonder Woman and Superwoman. No doubt about it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this here because I'm gonna go treat myself to the Sir Roger Titch Ball Club. And uh, I think I've earned that. And, uh, wow, well, we'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. So much for my victory lunch at the So Roger Tichborn. <laughs> oh, why did you do this to me, Sir Roger Tichborn? Oh, private function. So, I'm off. See you soon. Hello my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this is my victory dinner, it was gorgeous, it was a nice lamb roast, so thank you again for watching, and see you soon.